Hey. Now, at this point, in light of yesterday's events, I'm going to need to talk about it. And I'm going to need to talk about it all. Now, I know I have been talking about my parents. I did that like a, almost millions of times back in middle school and high school in the past two college years. And, uh, nowadays I know it been, hasn't been getting any different, especially the past two weeks. But, you know, this time, this has literally gone into a point where it's pretty much a no return. A point of no return in terms of literally the biggest fucking circus moment I have ever witnessed in my entire life. To the point where I'm both sick, sickened, like I'm both sickened by this and literally furious. Cause really, really, really. My parents are a couple of fucking clowns. To sum all of it up, yesterday was a normal day. A very normal and an average day. You know, went to college pretty normally. Got my lectures pretty normally. Everything was going fine. Had my nap. Ate my lunch. Everything was going fine. But then later on today, my dad just drags me into the stupidest type of talk in the stupidest fucking time ever. Alright. And I went back into my room. And things were supposedly to be decent, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because I got agitated. Because again, it was like 10 p.m. at night or 9 p.m. and I've literally went onto the balcony and raged into the goddamn air then he walks in then he walks on to me and forces me to go inside because like a little bitch he is because he doesn't want anyone to hear that he's a random ass clown to the point where I literally just Called him like you know what dad but no offense but you're so goddamn bored with your life to the point where you have to drag others into pretty much any random thing and literally he gets fucking he gets fucking pissed about it and triggered to the point where he literally went like yeah, we are breaking up. You don't talk to me, and I don't talk to you. You don't talk to your mom, and you, and your mom don't talk to you. I literally got him back my laptop. I got him from my brother his phone back, and... Bro, are you fucking serious? And they went like flopping all around with their goddamn bullshit. And he didn't even let me finish any of the words that I goddamn say. Like, I speak a few words, and he just doesn't let me finish. Like, bruh. Seriously. And they, like, bro. So, when I speak for the first time in my life, you get triggered like this. But when you speak and you trigger me, it's fucking fair? How is this legal? How is this even supposed to be fair at the first place? Like, what the fuck? Like, to the point where they literally, they literally been like, fuck you, take your, take your laptop and take your shit and never bother us ever again. Like, instead of bothering to listen and to think about what the fuck I said, 
in the most positive and civilized way possible. You literally just throw it away. Like how you freaking threw, threw me away all those goddamn years. Now you finally give me my quote unquote freedom. Because let's be real. It was not a freedom. It's fucking stupid circus fucking act. Seriously. They should be in the fucking circus. If that's how they're gonna fucking roll. And let me tell you. They'll be making a huge fucking cash. They'll be drooling in cash with their clownery acts, honestly. Instead of, you know, staying... Instead of one staying at home and being at the kitchen. While the other is just working as some random ass engineer. I would have called it engineering if literally I didn't have to hear him scream at the phone at some random ass people for almost 24 hours seriously like they're not and the worst out of all this they still think that they're about to be criticized or to be given a lecture or to be given a fucking or to be like to be scolded like Bro, what in the actual fuck is going on? Like, so this is the part where I finally, like, let my thoughts rest in peace. And my case gets rest into peace. Because it's been fucking proven. Like, the literal goddamn moon that existed during that night they are fucking insane stupid to the point where like what the fuck like, like uh, uh sure thanks for giving me my freedom but no thanks for listening to me no I mean, for no thanks for not listening to me no thanks for taking my word as it's, if it was some insult or whatsoever. When it was supposedly normal. No, no, no. There are babies like us. There are babies like us. No. And what's even furthermore, they literally keep on gloating about how much they were literally serving their goddamn parents and become their bitches. And gloating about how much they used to go to work at the fucking age of 16 and younger. And gloat about how much they were taking every single hit and word. And take those into mind and literally shape them into people. Like so, this is a part. Like so, this is a part where my parents are gloating about their stupid past. Because it's fucking stupid. It's, it's fuck. It's not even a humanly treatment. And they have. And the only goddamn proof that they have is in the fucking Quran and uh, in the Hadith. Sure. Sure. Put that goddamn ayah every single fucking time we try to talk. Yeah. As if God has made you the second Eve or the second fucking Adam. Because if they were the second fucking Adam and Eve, I swear, I would have fucking killed them on sight and took their goddamn powers. And I became the goddamn mixture of Adam and Eve if that's what's gonna fucking take. Because, once again, y'all need to shut up. Y'all need to shut up and grow the fuck up when, when you're trying to tell me to grow the fuck up. Like, my god, I did not know that a single logical talk and me saying you're bored as fuck in your life 
is gonna be that fucking triggering. Wow. Yeah, no one has told you that. Well, guess what? This is a reminder for you to stop being a fucking asshole. And to stop showing up randomly. I mean, who had someone's, someone else's day on some random bullshit like that? Who does that? Who the fuck does that in the entire fucking globe? But yeah, that's how to legit like sum it up or talk about it because and literally at this point it's so fucking stupid and again it's the most fucking circus clownery act I have ever ever witnessed in my entire life. Like honestly, I've thought that I have seen it all way back then and literally more way back then and even further back in the past. I've thought that I've seen it all. But god damn. God damn. They really 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 are fucking desperate. To be slapped into therapy. Like really. They're in desperate need. For someone to slam them into therapy. And wake them the fuck up to reality. Snap them the fuck out of, out of their. Whatever daydreaming. You know. Full and Tamea bullshit. They are smoking. And, and snap the fuck out to reality. And I've even tried to, and I've even, and I wasn't even to get a nick of sleep to the point where I've raced around again. And I've had to drag mom in to the goddamn bedroom and try to talk and to her to fucking change. Like, wow. You are terrible. Really. And at this point, go fuck yourself. You stupid old hag. Honestly. Go fuck yourself. If you if you really want to gloat about your goddamn future, why don't you go and gloat to your goddamn to your goddamn other, other freaking remaining quote unquote siblings about how much you fucking hate us? Why don't you gloat about how much you have literally brought me down with whatever the fuck you're saying? every time you're pissed why don't you go and literally gloat to our goddamn relatives about how much you have brought us down yeah isn't that another thing to gloat about and honestly and honestly I know I've always wanted to play on my laptop all the time and literally all of this and if I wanted to gloat about it I would have did and in a much fucking insulting way possible. But that's not me. Cause. Bruh. They are fucking insane. They need help. Desperate help. They are absolutely were never meant to be parents. And they should have never had sex. Or even got married. Or got any jobs. If that's. Like. Bro they're from the fucking 80s and 90s. How the hell. Are they supposed to recover. Ugh. Honestly I hate talking about this. I hate to be talking about this. I hate remembering this. I hate literally bringing this up. But it's unavoidable at this point, because this is one of those points of of no return kind of thing that's been happening again. Not about a router, not about a uh, whatever, but it's about my fucking parents. They 
need to be slammed at a fucking asylum at this point. Because, bruh, again, why? Why? If I grew up and treated my children like that, then there is no fucking way, no fucking way I'm going to be a father. If I decide to get married and have children, I swear to God. If I did like what they did to me, in any shape or any form, there's just no way, no way, I'm gonna ever become a father. Jesus. Jesus Christ, they... You really got stuck. And... Wow. Like sheesh. And people literally call me a clown and everything. Because I've had it from, from a couple clown parents. L and literally add on them the goddamn clown makeup. And they'll be so fucking perfect. Because really, that's what they are. A pair of clowns that never wants to listen, mindless stupid pieces of shit who believe that their own fucking ideals from the 80s, from back at 2010 at one of our old apartments is the key to quote unquote parenting. And this this is just beyond reasonable and beyond civilized ever. Like they reacted so fucking badly on something that they fucking did first. Like shut the fuck up. You did not have to drag me there. And it was all gonna be good. And I wouldn't have to get pissed. And I would have slept. And I would have pretty much moved on with my goddamn life. No problem. And... Yeah. At this point, they gotta, like... Just stop. They gotta, like, stop. But at this point, whatever. Really. Like, whatever. Because this time, I'm really, really, really not going to give them any single shits. Not going to bother about them. Not going to even try to talk to them ever again. I know I have said this, like, a lot of times and gloated about this a lot of times. But this is the time where it actually gets real. I mean, they already decide to cut their goddamn ties with me. But guess what? If they died in their goddamn grave, let them have their goddamn, their goddamn relatives, brothers and sisters, and uh, and their goddamn, their goddamn remaining parents or whatsoever, to literally bury them. Because I'm not gonna bother. I'm literally burying the hatchet with them. Because at this point, it's been fucking useless. Fucking hopeless. And legit, the only way that they could become actual good parents if they went to therapy. Actual therapy. And actually went into it. Because. Life ain't, because once again they can go fuck themselves at this point. Really, like they were the reason 
why I've lost so much in my life. And why I've been blaming myself. And they expect me to do better. And they are not doing any better or changing their stupid ass ways. I could be literally like watching a lot of memes and they are going to be so fucking relatable. Including clown memes. Yeah, clown memes. I'm... I'm done. And... Yeah. Y'all are blessed. Every single one of you who is watching or who is not watching, whether from United Arab Emirates or Saudi Arabia or America or Spain or Asia, anywhere around the world that isn't Egypt or isn't our, my family, y'all are blessed. Y'all are very, very, very blessed. Sure, most of you have had it worse. Most of you have been pretty much abused mentally or physically and most of you have got some fucked up stuff on, on top but again at least when they talk they fucking talk with with some logic they fucking talk with obvious reasons was all truth. Whether they ditch, whether they stay, whether they try and be supportive, there's an actual mind into this. Cause mine, they are so beyond reasonable and beyond being recovered. And honestly, at this point, I will never change my opinion about them. They even proved my words right in front of me. Like how much stupider and crazier can it get? I went speechless. Absolutely speechless. And wasn't able to talk because... My god, they are beyond recoverable at this point. Just because I said one insult to them. But they can shove more insults down my goddamn throat and heart. And just get away with it. Fuck that. Fuck them parents. I really should have been an orphan. Or with any other parent. Because believe me, I would have been living a life full of serenity. With actual common sense. Sure, there will be some complications. But at least there are complications that can be solved. Not with physical and mental traumas all around me. Well, I'm ending this here. Again, I don't want to talk about this again, but it is what it is. Because we are at a point of no return.